Oh god, what happened here? We took a loss against legendary enemies. Um, wow, what happened? So, we just created a commander tier list, and um, here it is. Um, we have a lot of feedback from a bunch of different players about the result of this commander tier list. Well, in this video, I want to show you a battle testing and we've been doing a lot of battle testing. So make sure to check it out here. I will put a card up in the video somewhere here. Um, check it out, watch some of our battle testing. And um, those are the reasoning on how we place these commanders in their respective ranks. In this channel, we do battle testing. We don't just do mainly on theories. Battle testings are crucial to create a very um, more accurate legendary commander tier list or a commander tier list per se. So if you enjoy the content, definitely hit thumbs up, you know, give us a thumbs up for our effort here. And also let me know in the comment section below what you think. And um, in addition to that, if you are new to this channel, uh, I make regular contents for Rise of Kingdoms. I do a lot of battle testing in this channel. So come and subscribe and turn that notification on so you won't miss out on anything here. And um, just enjoy the content that we have been producing. <laughs> All right, so you want to try the um, two builds. So we're going to be testing the skill pad and then... And it's it's for a friend that wants to see if he wants to invest in Mina. So um, let me switch the talents real quick. There's that one. All right, so, okay. So he wants to decide if investing on Mina is a good option. I do have a 5% attack boost right now. So if you want to do it fair, you may want to boost Yep, let's up. do that. I gotta, let me take my skin off. I don't have any equipment on, um... And you said 200k okay. troops. 200k troops. Let me check my equipment. I don't, I think I've got one piece on Mina. Let me take it off here. Are you Rome civilization? Oh, oh wait, what civilization are you? Uh, Oz, um, the skill one. Ottoman. Oh, the Ottoman, okay. Oh, so you don't have special troop. Okay, that's fine. So theoretically, Cavs should win. Mina and Tao should win. But I feel yeah, like and he, what what he, what he's trying to do is he's trying to figure out like in the like he can he could go and get Mina right now, and is he going to be just you know good enough, decent trades, not maybe perfect trades with Edward and YSG at the two different um, talent trees, and then we will do um, we can do. Ed and Tommy Russ, if you'd like. Yeah, we can do we can do a bunch of stuff today. Um, That'd be four. I don't know if you've seen the um, the uh, tier list that I just did. I did. I just saw it. Uh, I saw it on. Um, you posted it in one of the chats. Yeah. So um, where I rank Mina is quite low. So some other players wanted to rank Mina. So maybe this time we can determine where Mina would pl be placed to. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna. I'm like 14 kilometers away, but I think I'm just gonna. Port. I can. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm, I've got a ton of ports, so don't worry about it. I have got Man. a myriad of ports. I'm out of port. I only got three. I think I've got like 70 or something. Damn, how do you get so much? <clears throat> I buy it every VIP pack. I've been getting ready for KVK because I know I'm gonna be. And then I, that's all I buy with Alliance credits, too. Oh, nice. I'm just. Territorial ports. All right, uh, I'm gonna leave the alliance as well. Yep. So, where is my Edward? Oh wait, my Edward is in the structure already. All right, so we'll do the skill tree first. What's this? Yeah, I'm gonna just come on home. Why don't you just go on home? If you give me like a minute and a half for um. Oh yeah, yeah. Take your time. This is actually my Tommy Riss uh, build Bracky talent. Showed me a picture works. of you and her um, and Argusen uh, the other day when y'all were met up in Missouri for sushi or something. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He showed it to you. Yeah, we actually. Yeah, she, she did. She did. It was so I've been working with her on doing a lot of the Excel work for the T5 tracking. 
Nice. We actually have a. I did a vlog on that one where Argus and, and I met with Bracky in, in person. All right. So my talent yeah, they're tree. They're both. You know, he, she said yeah, Argus is yes. just like like you see in chat. Just a loves guns. Big kind of. I kind of imagine a big truck, lots of guns, redneck yeah, guy. Yeah, he, he's not. It's not. It's not a huge truck. It's a. Uh, he's actually for how how rich he is. Very subtle. You know, subtle subtle truck. It's like you won't judge him how he how rich he is with looking at his truck, basically. Mm -hmm. But that's a country, you know. That's how country people are. <laughs> that's right. I'm originally country from Alabama. <clears throat> I could hear if you have your accent. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm just gonna come a little closer here. So... Teleport. Where can I teleport? Somebody oh, just really? uh, zeroed. My, well, not zero, but smashed my. Uh, I my... saw. You did. Because I saw all the the like people coming to your um. I saw all the like legendary whatever you call it the little packs running to you. Yeah, <laughs> somebody killed my uh, Richard Alexander farming. I've had a couple kill mine. All right, I have left the alliance and I'm good to go. So we're doing the first, we're doing the skill tree first. I'll attack you, okay? All right. Well, I'll attack oh, you too. Hold on. Don't matter. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, let me um boost my. Let me get the five percent attack. Where is it? Five percent enhanced. Twelve hour. Yes. Okay. All right. Now let's go. And you've got the. Yeah, you got Edward. Must you go, dude? Edward YSG, 200k troops. Yep. T4. Wait, T4? Yeah. No, this is T5. Alright, well then let me, let me start it, up, it back over. It up. Then. <laughs> back it uh, up. I don't have T4. Okay, well then I'll do T5. That's fine. I was going to give him like Ooh, T4. Lost just big. for the cost. Just by looking at this, it's a big loss already on my end. But skill's not hitting it for that one. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Oops, 210. 200k, T5, 1, 2, 3. March. Alright. I've got the T5 now. Alright. <laughs> and that, that's not even T5, and I had quite a big margin of loss already in that one. Alright. That's kind of getting to like, don't let the skills proc just pop out of the city and hit you for four or five turns and then yep. jump back in the city. I see. You did 9,000. All right, I did it. How much? Yeah, damage? I think I'm losing this battle. It's the skill. Which is what I expected. Yeah, the Edward skill is just massive. But um. And you have no equipment on Edward, right? No, no equipment on Edward. No equipments. Hello. Oh yeah, no equipments. Okay. Sorry, I had I had it on push to talk. Yeah, um, no worries. I do that sometimes. Very interesting. I mean, like it's still really good because of the um unit counter but i think edward is just really strong yeah if we pull off this win with edward um with my tier list he, he's got to be up there then really because mina is a classic i mean everybody pretty much gets mina because he's the cheapest you can get, and nobody should be buying Barca anymore. Yeah, I agree. I think I rank Barca quite low now too. I rank him B. Us old T5 love Barca. He was he helped us. Barca Caesar stack used to dominate. See with with uh, Mina, the reason why I, I I marked him lower because nobody uses him for big plays anymore. He is whenever I rally any. You know, barbarian or any fort. I have a you know a preset 
Mina CC stack to just, you know, touch it and go. But that's all I use. He's usually Barbarian spec with that 9% rally boost. I go grab that and grab a couple of the other um, peacekeeping talents. and. Same here. You know. All right. So, I mean, there's yeah. there are a few factors in here, right? I mean, of course, I had the special unit, but you have a unit that yeah. counters me. But still, 43k remaining is definitely the commanders making the difference. All right, let me respec here. Give me a second. Let me uh, sure. So. <clears throat> and um, DJ Dolmite is not just gonna switch, you know, Civ just for this testing. I mean, this is the best that we can do. Um, respect that. Um, we'll do so. We'll do another Edward and YSG. Well, you're gonna switch your yep. talent. Yep, I sure am. So that was the 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 full like the Feral Nature build. Let me go and do the one that's not the Feral Nature build. Talents. So you're you're doing okay. This was the first build, and then the second build is the more on the cab side. That's right. That's exactly right. See, my build actually with Edward, I guess once you have the video, you'll probably see it. It's actually, I have the Naked Rage, so I do take yeah. more damage, but it's negated. It's negated by the Heraldic Shield, so I get benefit on that one. You know, I really want to see how Tomiris will perform because Tomiris has a debuff on Cavs. Yeah, and, and, and whatever... Um build works best if this one works best i'll just leave it and we'll do the best build versus tommy yeah okay let's take a look 20 20k to 28k severely wounded on the first round You know what? I'm gonna farm this gem. I'm free to play. Right, so, where did he put his lock talent? So, he throws one into there. Four, four, three, if you want. Alright. Okay, and this is the... <coughs> All right, I think I should be good to go. Go well. And here I come. All right, this is the the other build. That's right, They're mostly the cav tree. 200 KT fives. 200 KT five. Let's take a look. It looks pretty. Hmm. I think the skill of uh, uh pretty even right now. Yeah, it seems it seems you've got no you just I just went yellow, so Oh yeah. You just went yellow. How old's your kid? Uh the one I'm holding is three months old. Oh. That's the one making the noise? No, the one in the background's five. Uh, how many kids you got? Three. Damn. All boys? No, my oldest is a girl. The other two are boys. Oh, gotcha. Alright, so... I think I, I produce more skill damage than you do. Okay, definitely. Oh, definitely. I think you did much better this way than you did the other way. Hmm. So I think I had you red before. I'm about dead, and I've got... 
I'm sitting here at 34,000 calves. 30,000, 29, 7. Uh, goodness, I did the uh, verification reward. Nope. Okay. How how is that incorrect? All right. So right now I have about fifty four fifty three k troops. I'm at seven. Oof. I'm at four point five. I'm at one point one. I'm at five twenty five. I'm dead. So let me favorite this one. Let's look at these. So you had 19 severely wounded. So the skill tree had a thousand more severely wounded. Let me see. You're 197. This is 25. So 800 more severely wounded. And I had 28775, 2826. So the skill tree, the one, the feral nature of the first build, that's the build against if you want to your delta seven thousand seven hundred okay. in the severely wounded category yeah plus um i guess you also had a better proc on healing on the other one too you had 11k healing as well mm -hmm. but so yeah the skills tree is better and and what it is is feral nature. So it's always the skill tree. You always go down, but it's feral nature that makes the difference. Yep. Uh, okay. So let's do. So I'm gonna switch back to the skill tree, and PVP. That's player versus player skill. Switch. Yes. All right. And let's do. Ed. We'll do Ed and Tommy on this one here. Oh, give me one minute, real quick. Yeah, take your time. Uh, I'll just sit 2,000 out there, 200,000 out there. Be good to go. All right, so this time I have Edward and Tommy Riss. And then you you have the skill tree for Minamoto. That's right. Okay, this is really No good. naked rage, no latent thing or whatever it is, latent power. What is that one called? Talent. Wait, you don't have naked rage for this one? You should have, right? No, this is no, I don't. I don't do the naked rage or the latent power. Oh, oh, gotcha. Because um, I like to go up and get emblazoned, emblazoned and shield. You have the uh, the the last one. I forgot feral nature. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this one will do well. I mean, we have the debuff on you as well. Oh, this is interesting. So close. I love seeing those poison go down. Mm-hmm. I'm not even I'm not paying attention to the high, high the skill damage right now because <laughs> I'm taking screenshot. Can you hear that in the background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's part of the life of gaming. That's right. But really see this is why i rated minamoto kind of lower because even with the counter of troops right it's still it's harder to prevail now if this is what's genghis khan maybe it would be a little bit different do you have khan maxed oh uh, yes of course damn you guys, you guys, you guys uh, are very difficult to fight on the canyons. <laughs> I don't have cabs, and it's so difficult for me. I know, and I've got Fred too. I do like Fred YSG, and he just smashes. I, I and know. I just got, I've got Con. Um, I've got really good uh, equipment on Con. It's a, and uh, that abyssal, whatever the little helmet, the purple helmet, and the purple glove, and it's all, it's all cab spec. It's all proc the specialization it's nice when you have cabs man it's so much easier to get those um equipments for the cabs but i'm switching to I'm switching to i'll be cabs main archer i mean archer main cab secondary that's that's the way i'm working all right let's see what we got let me hmm. favorite that 
So this, so I want to do first and third. So I lost 27, you lost 20. So the YSG, I lost 28, you lost 20.5. This one, you lost 20.7. So for the open field, it's Ed YSG, just at looking at the, mm -hmm. but it's barely, barely. Because oh, you had 20 points. This one, you had, you had a lower points. heel. I did, by 7,000. See, that's significant, that's almost double. That's, that's a, I don't know why, Triple. you just had bad proc on this one then. Yeah. Hmm. But I, um, on the first report, I severely wounded 20.5, and on this one I severely wounded 20.7. So it's the same number essentially in my book. But this one I had about 2k more remaining than the first one. Yeah. Right. One point something, close to 2k. Hmm. Alright man, that's Very what I needed. Awesome. I appreciate this very much. Thank you, Thank you. for the help, and I uh, hope it's good content. And I'll see you out there on the battlefield, uh, hopefully Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday night. Hit me up too if you guys in DR. If you guys need, you know, need help or something, I can always come over. You bet I will. You All bet. Right, All right. All right. Thanks. Later. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye. So that was an amazing report. Um, it seems like the skill pat that Dolmite has performed better. Um, another thing that we need to mention is that I had specialized troop. He does not have specialized troop, but you can still determine it by how much, you know, remaining we got. If it was like maybe a 5k difference in here, then specialized troop would really have mattered. Um, one thing that he has also, he has a um, Ottoman civilization, I believe. So he's on the Ottoman Empire, so he get plus skill damage. And it's really focused on the archer special units as well. Um, so I do get some benefit for being a Briton. And then we're, of course, not going to ask him to, you know, switch just for this testing. So what we can tell here is that with our, you know, ranking with Minamoto, I think I really placed him in the right position where he's going to be C. Being able to defeat by archers, it's quite of a big margin as well because... Looking into the battle report, right, we still have a good amount of remaining troops as well in here. Um, you know, it's definitely the archer, the new commanders that we have now for archers are tremendously good, right? And um, some of you guys may not like how I'm rating the commanders in here, but we've got proof to put out here that it is the, the new commanders that we're getting here in rise of kingdoms they're getting stronger and stronger and even harder to defeat now if you're going to ask me something here if it's worth it to invest on minamoto um i would say still yes it's still nice to purchase minamoto at the end of the day because in the early stages in the game you have minamoto and it could really deliver a lot of good into the battlefield right in the early stages of the game now if you're in the later stages of the game and you're thinking about should i invest on minamoto i would say probably not unless you really have terrible commanders and you want to fix your commanders and you want to spend money and get a max out legendary he's not bad i'm not saying that he is a terrible commander i mean overall he still performed well but still underperformed as a cavalry commander. Now, if this was Genghis Khan, I would definitely get whooped badly and lost big margin. Um, so what I would suggest to you is if you are a new player, it's good to invest on Minamoto because he will do great things for you in the beginning. If you are an old player and you're thinking about getting Minamoto, what I would suggest is that skip it. So you can try to get other legendary commanders through Wheel of Fortune, you know, spend your bundles through that, um, Mightiest Governor event, and some other, you know, event where you can get 20 legendary sculptures. I think that's where your money would be more worth in the later stages of the game and focus on the newer commanders than the older commanders. So nonetheless, there are still great things with Minamoto, right? Don't forget that Minamoto is a great um, commander for like defeating barbarian forts. Um, if you look into Minamoto's skill, he does have a bonus damage to barbarians. So for me, for what I use Minamoto is, uh, you know, mostly for doing barbarian forts and... Um, I, I do have my equipment set up for Minamoto because I don't really have, you know, cavalry 
heavily focused on in this account. So I would still use, in my approach, I use Minamoto as a primary commander to Tao Tao because with Tao Tao, he has a mobility. I just feel like Tao Tao is just a little bit more better than um, Minamoto. With Chao Tao, you can actually use Chao Tao to pair him up with, you know, Genghis Khan. And I think the result and the result is much better. Um, the Chao Tao, you know, he has so many things going on in here. That's why I rank him higher than Minamoto. We got damage factor, attack reduction, which is debuff, and also another debuff for marching reduction in the open field. And also Chao Tao has heal and rage restoration. So that's what makes Chao Tao so much better than Minamoto. But like I said, don't um, be discouraged when you have Minamoto. I still have Minamoto and I still find good use with Minamoto. Um, I just think there are just so many good new commanders coming out and um, our older commanders are getting pushed down the ranks. So hopefully this whole battle testing is quite helpful and um, will guide you to where you want to be in here in the rest of the kingdoms. And um, I really appreciate Dolmite for doing some testing in here. So that's really nice. Again, let me know what you think. We have a video, make sure you check it out. We do a lot of battle testing in this channel. So if you actually want a commander tier list that is mainly from battle testing and not entirely from theory because um, no content creator out here can do all the testing and see all the results. So, so there are gonna be some theories that are in the um, tier list, but also with this channel, what we do is we do a lot of battle testing so we can support our tier list and prove it to you guys and show you how great the commanders are. At the end of the day, it's all your choice on what you want to pick and on what you decide and um, your strategy, your decision, it's all up to you. But, you know, I'm here to just show you what we have, you know, what we have been doing and um, show you how these commanders do perform in the battlefield. Anyway, um, just let me know what you think. And um, if you have any suggestion for battle testing, let me know in the comment section below. And also we have a playlist for battle testing. So this video will be going to that battle playlist testing. Share that to your Alliance members if you want and um, enjoy the content here that we produce. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and um, hit that thumbs up, guys. Put some like, get a thousand like in this video. Come on, we've been doing a lot of battle testing. Show some love. Show some love for our effort. Anyway, Rockers, see you later. Bye. Oh God, what happened here? We took a loss against legendary enemies. Um. Wow, what happened? Who defeated my march? Oh my goodness. My march was defeated. Oh my god, I got swarmed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh boy. How much now is in my hospital? 130. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. <laughs> what in the world? So, what do we get out of this? We're getting a lot of um, resource assistance. <sighs> What happened? I don't see on the system. There we go. Reinforcement. We got some resources in here. Gold. Definitely. Wow. Big time. Big. I didn't even realize that. I got swarmed. My goodness.